And there's the car park at HNT at the start of the path up Ben Nevis. There's a sign for the Ben Nevis footpath. And there's the path with the horse going up. Weather is very iffy. The path becomes increasingly rocky. Definitely rocky. Yeah. The path turns into the valley of the Redburn. Now at the halfway lock, it, obviously the clouds are down. Now on the first of the zigzags, and the path is fairly clear, and also the weather's cleared a bit. View back to the lock, Redburn Falls. And that's the way ahead. Still on the first zigzag, views over to the right of the clouds swirl. That is a ghastly way up. The white bags are alleged path maintenance. Now on the third zigzag, loose scree. Now getting near the top, incredibly rocky. Very near the summit now. I think the path forks for a little while at this point. Look how rocky it is. Here's another cairn on the path. Ignore what I said in my clip. The path does not fork at that place. It's just a cairn. Snow in August. I know. Ooh, sorry. That's the way. More snow in August. Down one of the gullies. That if you can see it, is the way ahead. Monument on the top of Ben Nevis. <laughs> ben Nevis summit in thick mist. There's the ruins of the old observatory. On the way down, back at the Redburn Falls. The weather has been appalling, which is why I've taken no videos until now. A wow has been taken up Ben Nevis. And that's the way ahead back then. A decent view of the halfway locker. The path ahead by the halfway locker. of the way ahead near the halfway lock and looking back up to the Redburn Ford the there's the path ahead great views now there's the Redburn and the path going down beside it nasty rock step on the path. This is looking back. I've just descended it. Now on the final bit of path leading to Achenty and back to the to end the walk. Now back at Achenty and the end of today's truly epic walk. Up to the highest point in the UK. And there's the Ben Nevis Inn. 